Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, gonna be laddering up, I know you, using this team right here I got with a Mega Mawile on it. I believe it's the one I used for the Garchomp team builder, if I'm remembering correctly, so... I went ahead and built it in that video, I believe, but we got Mega Mawile, all out attacker set right here with four attacks. Player of Thunder Punch, Sucker Punch, and Fire Fang, which is definitely very nice coverage right here. I knew it said Fire Punch, but I don't even think it gets that. If it got it, it would definitely run it, but we have Max Attack Adamant, super strong Pokemon with a huge power, and then obviously we have the Intimidate right here. And uh, we have enough speed for defensive Mega Scissor, which is definitely very cool right here. Some variants, and then we also have speed other variants of Mega Mawile too, which is definitely very good. We have an SD Dragonium Z Garchomp right here, which is our Stealth Rocker. Choice Specs Keldeo as a special Wall Breaker, and our only Water Resist on this team, so that can definitely be scary, but I believe in Keldeo, I believe it can get the job done right here. We have a Shikaberry Tapu Koko as a lure for Lander ST because Lander ST gives a lot of trouble to Mega Mawile and Garchomp, so I figured that could go ahead and work out for us. We have a Choice Scarf Blacephalon right here, which is another late game cleaner, alongside obviously the Coco right here. Coco has a late game cleaning potential too, just with its speed stat alone. And then finally a Rocky Helmet Defensive Torrenty right here, basically meant to help out against Cartana, which is a giant threat. So that's going to be the squad. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And let's go ahead and get right into the games. Alright, I got a game right here, and my opponent's team is very weak to Specs Kaleo. It's actually just Kaleo food right here, in all honesty. But I really want to try to get my rocks up, but at the same time, keeping Garchomp healthy could be good against the Excadrill. Not sure how much I actually take from that. I'm going to try to get up my rocks early, actually. Not really expecting Skarmory lead. Tepu Coco lead is not the biggest deal. I can just go ahead and uh, get up my rocks here, as I did say I want to try to do those. Because, I mean, Skarmory can come in to try to defog them, but... I can go ahead and get in Coco at that point and maybe try to go ahead and pressure them like that. But yeah, Mega Mawile plus Caldeo right here is probably going to be my best way of winning. What's this torn, by the way? Is it Helmet? It is Helmet, so that's going to be my best Mega Sceptile response right here. I'm going to get up my rocks right away. If there's Specs Dazzling Gleam, I think I take one. I wouldn't take a Specs HPS, though. I think they're debating whether or not they want to... I mean, I don't have a switch in here. That's the thing. So I really have to try to stay in and go for this. I could Earthquake, too. Honestly, what, is it? What, what do I lose right here by just clicking Earthquake? If they go Skarmory, they're just going to defog anyway. So I'm just going to Earthquake here. And maybe they'll just go ahead and throw out their Coco turn one, even though it's a giant threat against my team. Oh, or they can just crit Dazzle and I have no idea what their item is now. That's beautiful. Let's get in Mawile here and try to get some pressure going of my own. Oh, that's really bad by I mean. When I say when I say that's beautiful, I mean that really sucks. Let's go for Player Off. If they're Electrium Z right here, I just I don't even know anymore, but... I'm assuming that's Specs. Like, what set besides Specs is on his Dazzling Gleam? I'm going for Thunder Punch into potentially Skarm. I think Skarm should come out right here. They could go T-Tar if they really want, but... I need to get some momentum back because of that crit. If that was Specs, yeah, I do catch the Skarm coming in, so that's really helpful right here. Thunder Punch is going to uh, blow that thing away. And, I mean, I guess I should Fire Fang here because if they Roost, I can go ahead and pressure them like that. They get up a Spike. I lose a lot of health on this, but... It's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm really weak to drill now, but I guess that's okay. Maybe the crit didn't matter, but I don't know whether it's specs now or not. That's the thing. This thing comes back in. I don't have switchins anymore. I don't really need my, my Coco here. That's specs. Okay, so the crit didn't matter, but I guess in theory I got my kill anyway. I can't really complain about the crit then. I definitely risked it turn one, but I really couldn't switch out there. Like, that Coco does so much work against my team here, so... Let's see what decides to come in next. Potentially the Sceptile, potentially the Tyranitar. Either really can put in the work right here. I think Keldeo can take a hit from the the Drill, naturally, and pressure that with Secret Sword. That could be a very good way to go about this. I don't know what they're actually going to bring out right here, because I am trying to get in my... If they go T-Tar, I think I go Mega Mawile in that instance. Unless they're fast T-Tar, which I don't know if that's actually a thing. Mega Mawile's Sucker Punch is actually kind of valuable, though. My set is Player of Thunder Punch, Fire Fang, Sucker Punch, I believe, so that could be good right here. I'm definitely not out of this, but the fact that Guard Jump went down turn 1 is kind of lame. I know this is Specs now, though, so that's beautiful. If I can get Chip on it, maybe... I mean, Blacephalon's not winning here. <laughs> like, they have a T-Tar and a Chansey. Like, Blacephalon has no business winning this game. I don't know why they're taking so long. You either go T-Tar or you go Drill here. I guess Septal can work too. I'll get in Torn. On Energy Ball. Okay. So Defog the Spike away is fine. T-Tar. Okay. I think uh, maybe just U-Turn to Mawile makes some sense here. 
Oh, they're Thunder Wave T-Char. Hello? No. Let's go for a uh, player up here. As uh, they sack off their sand setters, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and Coco comes back in. I think uh, maybe Sucker Punch is more valuable than my Coco. I'll get him clown here and click Fire Blast. They should go Chansey. But Chansey would give me my, my drill. That actually does a lot too. I'll go Torn here. Okay, they go for Toxic. Not a Thunder Wave, so that's cool. I get a free knock now, which is cool, because if they go Coco, the Specs gets knocked off, and it's in range of my Clown at that point. Their Sand is about to go down too, so hold up, maybe I can actually win this game. They go Hard Drill, trying to abuse whatever turns of Sand they can. It is indeed Z, okay. Do I give them Torn? I think I do. Yeah, they're gonna go for the Z, obviously. I mean, I kind of had to do that. I'm going for the, the Clown win. Clown can win with Fire Blast, assuming they, I can pressure the Chansey somehow. I, I would imagine they just sack this off here, right? Yeah, I'm just going to Secret Sword. They showed, what, Energy Ball? Does that mean they don't have Leaf Storm? They showed Energy Ball. Maybe Keldeo can take one of those, who knows? But yeah, I, I, basically Clown is going to win this game. That's my only way of doing it. I need to hope they somehow, for whatever reason, give me Chansey, which they're not going to. I guess Coco comes back in. I sack off my uh, Mawile here. Their play is Thunderbolt. I don't know what's it's so hard to think about. They go for Volt, interestingly. Hmm, do I go... I think my play is Keldeo. I just hope I can actually... No, I think I have to go Clown. And then what, like, double out into Keldeo on the Chansey? They just Earthquaked. Yeah, this is over. Let's go back to Clown, just on the off chance they... And this time they go Chansey. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna maybe Soft Boiled here, I don't know. They go for Soft Boiled, okay. Do I have a chance? I mean, I have to hope they stay in for no reason. That's my chance. They suck off Sceptile, it goes down in one hit. But I don't think I can beat the, the Tapu Coco here. Yeah, Specs Coco rips this team apart. It just beats my one ground type of the Dazzling Gleam. I mean, I'll go for this here. And then get in, get in this. Maybe click a uh, trick here. As they just had to go for a Toxic, that's fine. If I was sub here, I could win. I mean, I'll just flamethrower them down. They're actually missing Toxic, but I, I can't win this game, so let's just go ahead and get out of this game. I cannot beat the Specs Coco at this point. Let's stop wasting time, and unfortunate game one right there. The turn, the Specs Coco just ripped my team apart. That was really it, but I'll be right back with another one. Okay, I got the next game right here. My opponent is very weak to Garchomp and very weak to Mawile, so I do like and go ahead and show those two Pokemon off. Gengar is a threat, obviously, me having no Ghost Resist, so that's a problem in itself. Keldeo kind of has fun here, too. A lot of Pokemon has fun, not gonna lie. I think just as a lead, Torn probably makes sense here. Expecting Megalopony or maybe Ferrothorn. So I don't know if this is Thunder Wave Ferrothorn, so I'm just going to U-turn out, I think, into my Coco. They decide to go for a Protect. They want to be Protect Thunder Wave, so I'm just going to knock off now. <laughs> protect Thunder Wave would be such an unset. Decides to go for a Leech Seed. That's fine. I think uh, my play is Hard Guard Chomp. On the rocks. Just exchange. Like, I don't really mind here. They unfortunately miss a lead sheet. That kind of sucks for them. I'm actually going to go hard Mawile here. Because I really don't mind this. I can just Mega Evolve and Fire Fang. I don't think they would actually protect risking a Swords Dance. They actually do, interestingly. Okay. I mean, I can just Fire Fang again. As they give me the Ferrothorn. So I guess they expected an over prediction, which, I mean, I didn't make. Hmm. Hard Keld is not bad, but at the same time, I'd love to keep that out of range of Gengar's attacks. I think Hard Guard Chomp is a, not, a, not a terrible play here. Decides to go for Toxic, okay. I'll just hit him up with an SD here on the Landers and then go for my, my Devastating Drake. If there's Scarf, I live HP Ice. Heatran comes back in. Really good pivot. I'm just going to lock into Outrage now. Yeah, catch me clicking Outrage here and killing something. 
Landorus can come back in. But Heat Trend is essentially gone now. Yeah, they actually give me Heat... Wait, huh? They have to take Roughskin now, too. Unless it's Scarf Gar. I am Roughskin, right? Okay, good. Because that damage is actually great for Clown. Power of Punch, huh? I mean, I have to go Clown and try to hit Fire Blast. This is so vital. It's crazy. If I miss this, I'm going to be sad. They don't risk it, which is smart. I think uh, they would just go for Volt Switch, so I'm just going to Fire Blast again. Yeah, make sure that that thing is in range of my Keld. As uh, Low Bunny comes back in. Actually, I, I don't think I should... I think I should go with Low Bunny here first. I mean, Torn. On Fake Out, and then sack this off to return. Yeah, I think that's a better maneuver here. Hmm. So I think I, I can bring this out here and go for Flamethrower to force my kill. Man, that Shika Berry might actually end up being the difference here. So Lopunny comes back in now. Hmm, I think I suck it off. Get in killed here. I live high jump kick, I click Surf. Sucks off Gengar, that's a really bad disable. Huh. Could that matter? I don't think so. I sack my... Okay, uh, so they actually got into this here. I, th I don't think it makes a difference. I sack off my Mawile here. To the Earthquake, get in Coco. Go right for Hidden Power Ice. Knock that out. And then just hope my Keldeo lives, is I guess my play. I Keldeo will take a high jump kick. They actually tried to power a punch. Yeah, I wasn't switching out, so we're able to go ahead and win that one right there. Thankfully, that was definitely very scary after that disabled, but we come out on top, which is definitely very cool. I'll be right back with another game. All right, I got another game here up against Dr. Frog. He likes to run Cosmic Power Clefable and just 6-0 people with it, so I'm going to be careful here. I'm going to lead off here with my, my Garchomp, and I mean, I can just Earthquake right away. It is Sash, and they just knocked me out, so I mean, that's okay. I prevent, like, rocks or anything. Just get in my uh, my Keldeo here and click. I think a uh, Surf makes a bit of sense. Celesteela, that's a really bulky Celesteela. Holy crap! Let's get in Coco here on Giga Drain. Not a big deal. I can just go ahead and. So I'm thinking just Thunderbolt makes a lot of sense. The Electric Terrain could prevent Z Hypnosis, which is going to be interesting. But I feel like I'm just going to lose to Co Cosmic Power Clefable. I feel like I don't beat that thing. How fast is Clef? 60, okay, so it's not that fast. This damage is actually great due to the fact that I want be this thing weakened for my for my Blissef. So I'll get in Torn here on the Earthquake. They're actually physical. Yeah, like I said, really cool squad. I'll knock it off here. This thing gets a Roost. I never even knew that. Okay, this thing is destroying me. Let's U-turn out into Keld and start to pressure it. Well, I guess here they would roost, right? So I can just go... They actually switch out that turn, which is great. I think I just go Mawile, and... Hmm. Just a uh, play rough here is fine. They go for a Skull, just fishing. That's cool. They're actually a, a Rocky Helmet set. I'll Thunder Punch here. They probably have Protect. I don't know if they would risk me Swords Dancing or not. Ah, uh, they get in the Nido King, which means Rocks are actually going up. Yep, I got that play wrong. Knock that out. So they get up rocks. A little bit annoying. Z hypnosis. Okay, let's get in. Th let's get in Coco here. Is that the play? Coco kind of can win anyway. Get in Coco. Thunderbolt. Get this in here. Click. I think Hydro Pump. Yeah, that is not a switch in, my fan friend. Let's go right here for a Hydro Pump again. So the power point stalling me, which is definitely very cool. That is a switch in, unfortunately. I'll go Mawile here. Because, yeah, it should roost. I, I should outspeed this. I don't know how much speed they're actually running. Clear off into this. Click, um... Thunder Punch here to knock it out.
Now this team as a whole is kind of like counters mine. Not really though, like at the same time I could have maybe played more offensively with Coco and Chomp, but I mean, yeah, Chomp, I should have kept Chomp. Chomp was going to do a lot of work here. Hmm. Can I? I gotta hope they miss. They do not miss, unfortunately. I gotta hope Fire Blast can Oko this now. Yeah, I just gotta hope Fire Blast Oko's. If Fire Blast Oko's this, I can win. They don't even risk it. I do gotta burn on that, which is, I mean, cool, I guess. They might actually be messing up. I'll just defog here for my clown in case it ends up mattering. On the heavy slam, get in Keld here. Lock into Hydra Pump. I don't do too much. They go for a Giga Drain. Does 48. I gotta get in Clown here on the next attack. They double into this. Really good double. And I gotta try to get Keld back in. Roost. Sex off Zerkatry, and then I just lose to Cosmic Power Clef. Yep, Clef comes in. Can't beat it. I'll try to trick it here. Oh, they messed up. Nice. Uh, they still win, though, because of Moonblast. Scarf Moonblast should do the job. I do get in safely, which is cool. Secret Sword here. Clef has to come in, right? Charge Beam, interesting. What do I have? Leftovers? Okay. Let's double back here. I gotta get these plays right. I gotta wear this Clef down. They stay in? Okay. I guess they expected the water type move there. Did I actually pull this back? I play a switch out. No, is it? If I Secret Sword, I think Fire Blast wins. They Charge Beam. Yeah, my opponent choked this game away. Flamethrower, and then Flamethrower this, and that's gonna be that. Nice, so we pulled that back. Uh, that was really close. I actually thought I lost like really early, but yeah, we were able to go ahead and win that. Wow, Dr. Frog dropped a lot. They were in the 1800s like a few days ago, but that's able to go ahead and work out for us. A really cool team by my opponent. Had me nervous there, but we're able to go ahead and come out on top. I'll be right back with another one. Okay, I got another game right here. My opponent is running just some sort of like chancy balance. I don't know how to explain it right here. Like they have some offense with Weavile. It's honestly just like chancy semi-stall. Let's not be, let's be honest here. It's like Weavile and then a ton of semi-stall on the team. I think it kind of reminds me of BC Wish Gillard's team with like Weavile over Bisharp, Mega Venus or Chansey Skarm. And then of course the um, other two Pokemon right here are a little bit different, but I mean Mega Mawile plus Garchomp kind of have fun as a lead. They would lead a Weavile, so I'll lead off here with my Keld. Never mind, I, I was wrong about the Weavile. They would go for Toxic turn one. I can't risk Mawile, I'm gonna go Coco. Oh, so we just go for game turn one now. I got you. Let's Thunderbolt here. I'm just gonna hit and power ice it. Yeah, they go for Chansey. That's what they should. I'll U-turn out here into... I'll go Garchomp in case it's Thunder Wave. I don't really mind Garchomp getting toxic. Rocks. So I'll be doing the same here. As Skarm could come in. They could go hard Weavile. Really offensive play right there. Like, really did not expect that to come out. Actually, I can't risk Mawal taking damage. I'll just go Keld. Yep, my well being healthy is going to be the way of winning, so let's not let that die. I'll double to Coco here on the slow bro. And uh, then just Thunderbolt there, knock that out. Nice. I'm not over predicting here. Venusaur comes in. I can just U turn out here. Hmm. Guard jump makes some sense here, I think. Then uh, I can just SD up this turn as Skarm comes in. We're gonna find out whether or not you have Whirlwind the hard way. 
Brave Bird? Okay, well, catch this devastating Drake. <laughs> Hold this devastating Drake, more like. Something's dying. So we were actually able to dismantle this team. I mean, I'm not out of the woods yet. Like, I can still lose to maybe Weavile. Gliscor dies, okay. This thing comes back in. Healthy as Venusaur. 79. I should keep Garchomp. Skarm is at 64, huh? I think I sack off Garchomp, then go Mawile. I think that's the play. Either that or I sack off... No, Coco is actually useful late game. I can sack off Torn here. I want to keep the Clown in case the trick ends up being useful. I'll keep in Garchomp on the Crash and then get in Mawile. That sounds fine to me. So Mega Evolve here, go right for a... Mm, Fire Fang into Venusaur. That took a zero. Hello? I was really expecting that to take a tad more there. Um, yeah. Tough. Let's get in here. Hit him up with the finest of hurricanes as Chansey comes in and gets confused. Nice. I can knock this off. Mawile is the key. Mawile can break this team. Especially now that that thing's lost its Violet. Hit a little bit to the left. I should actually be U-turning out here into, into Mawile on this turn as this thing comes in. Okay. I think uh, I just go for play rough. That misses actually sucks because now they can attack this turn, whereas they would have had to roost. Yeah, really lame. And they get the sludge bomb poison. Beautiful. Nice. This is all things I was hoping for. Hmm. So I got those maneuvers right. I think player offs should 2 it KO the Venusaur now. I'm gonna go for this roll. Roll, come on. Ma, I'll knock it out, please. Oh, they're just faster. Never mind. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting them to be so fast. Can I break this team or not? <sighs> Hidden power. I can try to fire blast here. And if I knock this out, maybe I can win. Hard Scarm is interesting. Are they Scarf Weavile? That died, hello? Blacephalon, are you, are you that clutch? Yo, Blacephalon's so good. You know what's funny? I still have to hit this. Yo, Blacephalon, the MVP right here. Blacephalon just came through. We weakened Chansey. We did what we had to with those doubles right there. We gained a lot of ELO, which is definitely very solid. That one had me nervous. I might switch accounts now because I want to keep this account in the 1800s after that. I think I actually will. So I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got another game right here. My opponent has just heat. They're very weak to Scarf Shadow Ball, though. So that looks like a great end game for me. I think as a lead here, Glalie would... Not really help them. I think Garchomp just kind of kills everything on their team. This could go for Toxic Spikes. Let's get a Brox. I don't have a switch in. I'm just going to go for Rocks. If you're Specs HP Ice, you're Specs HP Ice. I mean, I can still win the game if you're Specs HP Ice and knock me out here. That's my mindset. At the same time, though, I should just Earthquake, right? Because if they get up T-Specs, I'm defogging. So, let's just knock that out. Nice. This, I, I live an Ice Shard. I'm going to golf the fact that I live one of these Ice Shards and knock this out with a Devastating Drake. Goodbye. Let's get up my rocks here. They want to tie. A little bit unfortunate, but I knock this out too. Give me that. All right, so we're up 5-3. Magnezone comes in. Let's slow down. I don't want to choke away the end game. As quick as this end game is going to be right now. <laughs> Let's go right here into Coco. Oh, I'm trapped in. That's okay. Corkscrew crash, huh? Goodbye. Cartana has to be Choice Scarf. I'm assuming it is. I don't have a reason to switch out, though. If I go hard torn, I can lose. Whereas if I stay in here and then go torn, I just hit a hurricane and win. And they're not even Scarf. Goodbye. And, yeah, Bulu can't beat me, so... 
I figured that that was the better maneuver right there. We were able to go ahead. That guy was really high on the ladder. How is that guy so high on the ladder? <laughs> we're able to go ahead and win that game right there, and I'll be right back with another one. Alrighty, got another game right here. Probably going to be the last one. This one looks a little bit tough for me to break. I guess Garchomp can do some work. Hmm. I'll go Torn here. I don't think it's worth staying in turn one. Even though they have double grass. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my Chomp at full health. They're probably Scarf, so I'll just go for U-Turn. Into Pex. Okay. Gives me Garchomp. And, uh, I mean, I can just Earthquake. As they go for a Lair. I'll gladly SD up here. Hmm, tough. I'm so tempted. I should live an Ice Beam. No, it's an Ice Beam from a Mega Latias. My switch is Mawile, though, and I'm gonna go Mawile. Okay. I need to defog with my, my Torn. I think actually now is the time to do that, so let's, let's defog here. Chomp is too important. I can't risk that thing. Magma Storm. Okay. So you turn out. Get in. Guard Chomp again. On rocks. Okay, so I think finally I can get up my own. This guy keeps on going hard Lottie. Hello? I feel like he's going to overpredict this time. No, there's no way. I'm going to go Coco. You just Ice Beam every time. There's no drawback. You have Psychic? They do have Psychic. This team is just so difficult to uh, beat with mine. I think I can actually see a maneuver I can make to win right now. No, I need, heat I need damage on the Heatran first, that's the thing. And this guy's making no mistakes here. Thank you, finally. I'm gonna get in my Mawile here. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball sweep with my, with my Clown. I'm gonna predict the Heatran. You, there's no way you stay in with Lottie. Like Lottie's your check to Keldeo, it's your check to Mawa, it's your check to Garchomp. I mean, it's a check, it's not a counter. Are you serious? Well, I'm gonna Sucker Punch. I don't get that play. I mean... Maybe Shadow Ball can sweep here? I don't think so. He has too many. I, I, I gotta crit through something is what's gonna happen. Yeah, this thing can come in here. I see a maneuver I can make. It involves defogging though. Okay, uh, this guy's just gonna go hard Lottie again, so I'm gonna Devastating Drake because either way I get the damage I need for the Clown. This is fine. I need to defog. What can I defog on? A lot of things, to be honest. So, take this thing. Or don't take it, okay. Serp can come in. I don't know, I really don't get that maneuver he made with the... with the Lottie. Does this actually live at my, when I'm at minus one? Probably... it probably does. Oh, you give me damage on Heatran? Okay. So that thing's at what? Like, something percent now? So get in here and go right for the... So I'm just gonna go off chokes. Okay, knock that out. Shadow Ball. Not looking too good. Yeah, this thing comes in. I just stay in against it. I gotta hope they miss Leaf Storm. Which, I mean, my opponents do not miss. Okay, I got one shot here. Gadu. I don't even have defog on this, do I? I got a Thunderbolt para onto full para. Yep, and that's gonna be the game. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really get the Lottie play at all, but I mean, hey, it worked out for them. I'll take the L right there, and I did hope you all enjoyed. Very confused about the last game. I really don't agree with much my opponent did right there, but maybe I was giving them too much credit. Maybe I should have just player left, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, and I'll see you next time. Later.